the election is so soon, you guys. And last night's debate, I got to say, was a lot tamer than that first one. And it was as close to a normal debate as I think we can get with Biden and Trump. But, uh, you know, Domati, let's start with you. What moment from last night's debate or maybe even celeb reactions got you, th got you thinking? You know, I think it's the moment that a lot of folks are talking about online when Trump said, I am the least racist person in this room with a black woman in the room. <laughs> Yara Shahidi sent out a tweet that conveyed exactly what I was thinking. She said, I can't believe the president just said this in a room with a black woman. And then also, you know, you've got folks bringing up the Central Park Five or the Exonerated Five, rather. Uh, and you, it, it's 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 insidious for somebody like Donald Trump to say something like that, given his history of policies, with mm -hmm. immigration policies, with the children in cages, with discriminatory mm -hmm. practices against African Americans in his buildings, with what he said about the Central Park Five. I mean, the list goes on, calling African countries S-hole countries. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, was, it, it was definitely a statement that he knew would make headlines. And he does know how to play the media, but uh, when I saw that Yara tweet, I said, she's tweeting exactly what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Gio, what stuck out to you? No, I definitely agree with Domati because one of the things that stuck out to me online last night was Ava DuVernay. We know her as the director of Selma. We know her for her incredible work with Queen Sugar. Uh, she is also never one to play with, and she tweeted the actual photo of the ad that Donald Trump took out in 1989 in the New York Times that called mm. for the basically to kill the then known as Central Park Five, which is five young black boys who were really targeted and actually found innocent later on and he still never even apologized for it so again ava duvernay tweeted the just the ad just to show like you gotta fact check when you really say things like that um and also darcy Carden from the good place have you guys watched that show before she's great yes. on it. but last night she was hilarious because she posted a photo that of her parents that not of her parents of how her parents were watching the the debates and they basically yeah. had a away bag over Trump's face and then left Joe Biden there. And the caption of the tweet read, my parents, uh, a picture from my mom and dad, the only way to watch the debates. This is the only way they can watch the debates. And I was like, I should have done that. I should have absolutely tried to put a, a bag over. Never, never mind. But anyway, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the the only way right I could watch the debate is with two glasses of wine. That's what got me through it. I was like, I, I was telling you guys, I was trying to cook during that, and that was a bad idea. Things were burning. I'm like, oh, shoot, what's going on? But you know what? Tw speaking of, Twitter was ablaze, too, last night with one comment from Trump uh, when he talked about how uh, New York is dead after being the epicenter of the pandemic. I mean, Domati, as a New Yorker, what's going on there? Y'all being haunted by ghosts or what? <laughs> Man, <laughs> New York is popping. Like, tell, tell that to the person who I was riding with the other day who couldn't find parking when I went out to grab a drink <laughs> outside somewhere. I mean, yeah. New, York, New York is, it, it's funny because for a split second, which is the power of someone having a platform to spew inaccuracies, for a split second, I thought, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's just Brooklyn that's popping. Maybe it's just Soho where I was at the other day. <laughs> but uh, no, New York is still... Not the same New York that we once knew, but New York is still alive and well. And actually, restaurants are opening at 25% capacity. You still have seating outside. Uh, I went for sushi the other day. There was open seating outside. People were socially mm -hmm. distanced at our tables. But New York is still heavy with the foot traffic, heavy with the car traffic, and heavy with nightlife. A lot of I was going to say, like I'm in my city. apartment in Brooklyn, and... It's very much lit out here. Um, and while people are wearing their masks and while people, you know, obviously miss how fast New York used to be, it definitely isn't slow and it's not a ghost town. I haven't seen Casper anywhere. Maybe the president <laughs> was just trying to celebrate Halloween earlier or something. He was just letting right. us know that he, like, I don't know what that was. She's on spooky season is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know? It's almost, well, and I, I'll be honest with you, Denny, it's almost too lit. For a second, I'm like, yo, I mean, the pandemic isn't over. And I mean, there were if you're in some blocks in bed style, they've got barbecues going on outside. They've got people are kicking it. And, you know, on one hand, you love to see that people aren't panicking. You yeah. love to see the masks that are out there. But on the other hand, a part of me is like, yo, we still need to take this pandemic seriously. Uh, things aren't necessarily over, but uh, maybe mm -hmm. if New York was a ghost town, that'd probably be a little better, but it's not. It's